Okay, now we're on to part six, the last part of the simple web template tutorial series. Okay, it's a whole mouthful to say. Now, I think we did pretty good. It's a pretty decent looking design in my opinion. And I mean, you could even build upon it, you know, make it better. But so let's finish up the content area right now. I was thinking we do something basic, just some more text to finish it off. But okay, so let's go ahead and make a new layer. Okay. Now grab your pencil tool and probably select let's let's start out with black. Um, make oh, actually, we want to do one pixel. Okay, now hold shift to keep your line straight. Just make a simple line underneath the first content. Okay, now this is a cool little trick you could use in a lot of different situations. It's actually one of my favorites, it's the motion blur. So you're gonna go to filter, blur and motion blur okay now keep the blur at, I don't know what's that what the fuck's that called uh, side now uh, sideways horizontal I don't know the damn okay anyway just like this like this okay <laughs> like oh god damn it okay like this okay now make it so it almost reaches the end of uh, your content section so okay let's maybe a little less than that okay maybe a little bit let's do 96 okay we'll make sure it's pretty even and you want to lower the opacity a little bit okay Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Okay, so I was thinking we just do some basic text um, in the second content area. So let's just go ahead and just duplicate, um, just duplicate a whole your first uh, content area, the group. Okay, um, let's name this full content. Okay, now move that to the top and hold shift again to keep uh, your movement straight. Now you want to open up your web browser and grab some filter text off of lipsum.com. This is where everyone gets their filter text. But okay, now generate yourself a paragraph here. Let's grab this shorter one. Okay. Now go to your text, select it, and just copy or paste the, the text you just uh, you just copied. Okay. Okay, now uh, space out your second line as well so it's even as the first one. Now let's just fill up this whole content area here. I kind I like to keep my my uh, content pretty even, so I got it's like OCD. I think I don't fucking know. Excuse my my language. I've been just all day. I've been doing this series. Um, we crashed like three times during it. It's a damn nightmare. But okay. Just fill up the content. Okay, see, we fit perfectly. Okay, and you don't necessarily have to do it like this. You can even add like a button at the bottom, like a read more button, or even you could put a contact form here instead of content. Uh, just use your imagination. This is like a basic guide and remember if you missed a couple things this was made as a series so just watch the videos in order and you can see like you get all the details you know because I might 
um, not explain something that I'm doing now that I explained in the previous video you know okay so we're getting or I think we should increase the opacity a little bit on our line here okay and I'm actually going to include this as a download eventually. Um, the PSD file, the fonts, just the brushes, everything I used to make it easier for you guys. Okay, so let's finish it off with the footer. Now, I think we should just grab this text right here. So let's go to the logo, and this is our slogan. Now you want to control J, duplicate that, and just move it um, towards the bottom right here. Okay. And I'm just going to do a simple basic footer text here. Um, copy right and just grab the copyright symbol okay Wait, where the hell is it right here okay copyright c um for portfolio studios <coughs> all right Okay, just a basic footer, you know. And now you want to move that to the top. And remember, keep keep your uh, files organized. It makes things a lot simpler in the future. I mean, I honestly, this is from experience. I have hundreds and hundreds of files. I honestly don't know what's what. So just keep your stuff organized. Anyway, move that into. Now we made a new group. Um, name it footer. Okay, move that in there. Now to finish it off, we should do a little arrow shape. So go ahead, and go to your shape tool, and just grab, make. A, oh, we don't want it black. We want a white one. So just make a little arrow. Okay. Now um, go to rasterize. I think yeah, rasterize to make it a normal. Uh, oh, a normal um, IR object. So let's go ahead and grab the marquee tool and just cut off the end section of the arrow here. Oh, um, I forgot we didn't do it wrong. Uh, I mean, we didn't do it right. Uh, God crap, I forgot. Oh, uh, shit. Ah, uh, it slipped me. I forgot how add mask, trash mask, maybe. Okay, let's just keep our selection here. We'll delete the shape and just fill it with uh, white, make a new layer as well. So there we have our basic shape without any complications. Okay, so just delete the end section of the arrow. And to flip stuff, you would go to edit, um, transform, and then the this is let's do a rotate oh let's rotate it again rotate 180 oh perfect okay so we have a little arrow for the for the visitors to go back to the top of the page just a little extra thing you know just to finish it off okay so there you have it the basic web template tutorial now I hope you guys enjoyed this um, if you have any suggestions or any problems just leave a comment and make sure to watch the full series like I said and subscribe to my channel I'll be bringing in a lot of tutorials this year a lot of good stuff I do internet marketing as well um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this series 